Oh, Paul. <laughs> You're so right. I know. I know it's so right. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, someone figured it out. <laughs> Sun is coming up. Are you ready to go? We can take a ride. We can take it slow. Yo. Well, welcome back to the Road to Self Love. It's your boy Paul Fishman, self love coach and you do you activist, here today with my brother, Max Fishman, joining me on the road, impromptu. I said, Want to be on the show? And he said, Yeah, let's be on the show. I wanted to practice, really, and he didn't want to practice. <laughs> so, Max, self love to me is embracing who you are as a true individual and then shouting it out to the rooftop. So, I'm curious. Who is Max Fishman, and and how do you want the people to know you? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just Max. You're just Max. Cool. That's so, not really what you wanted. Well, I need some more specifics. Okay, so let me dig this a little bit deeper for you. So, Max, if you were the only human on the planet, how would you introduce yourself to yourself? You're gonna edit out this long pause. <laughs> sure. I like plants. You do like plants. Yes, I like plants. You know, this like comes to like how do people think of how they introduce themselves? Do they introduce themselves with words or they just like think about like, oh, this is my picture. I'd be sitting by a fire on a beach, probably like all gangly and gnarly because I'm the only person on the planet and I'd be enjoying plants. Well, yeah, because I think that that is truly you. <laughs> like, gangly doesn't really, like, has more of, like, a relationship with your ex internal self than your external self. You know, you, you like plants, so you'd be hanging out with all your plant friends, probably talking to them because you got a little crazy because you're the only person there. I was just having a conversation with another guest about how humans are so focused on control and, you know, manipulation and, and lying because it's instant gratification, you know? And like, if you are- Wait, 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 Sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you. You were doing a great job. <laughs> Thanks. I don't, how is lying instant gratification? Because I could say, oh, Max, I, um, uh, you know, my name's Paul, and my business made a million dollars this year. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna disagree with you. I don't think that's instant gratification. Unless, you, so if your business made, if that's truth, sure. But if that's a lie, don't you get this like weird feeling in your chest like, oh. No, and then for you me, get, yes. But for you, I'm thinking, oh, now he's going to know something about or think something about me that will make me feel better about where I am. Really? It, yeah. That's the human condition. Mm -hmm. It's like controlling this this idea of what others think of us and therefore having to live up to that and sometimes a piece of the puzzle is just convincing yourself, right? Yeah. So, um, okay. and I think that that's what everyone does is that narcissistic approach to, you know, you say a little lie about X, Y, and Z, oh, you know, and then you hope that you believe it and then you hope that it actually is the truth. Oh. Does that make sense? Got it. Right? But deep down inside, it doesn't feel it good. It doesn't feel good. Right. So, and that was the whole conversation. Oh, that, that telling the I, truth yeah. is is the most important part. Yeah. Because once you start telling the truth, you start liking yourself more, you start liking others more. Because it really doesn't matter. Because you tell people the truth and they're like, oh, that's cool. Or maybe they might not say that's cool, but they forget about it like in the next five minutes. <laughs> right. For instance, like if someone someone who will go unnamed communicated that they didn't like the Christmas present that I gave them. I liked your Christmas present. <laughs> I'm not talking about you. <laughs> oh, I know which one that was. Yeah. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, no, I'm not worried about it. So, Max, I'd love to play a road trip game with you. This is the whole reason why I decided to sign up for this. I was just waiting. For the road trip game? Oh, yeah. I'd love you to pick a card, any card, and read the question, and we're both going to answer it. If you could have it your way, who would you be with? Where would you be, and what would you be doing? I think I'd be in a sunnier San Diego. I'd be doing something that would make me happy. Which is? Sometimes just being with people that I feel connection with makes me happy. How, do you have that ever where someone will say something and they're just like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay. And you hear, blah. 
<laughs> well, you know, I just appreciate you being so real. <laughs> oh, um, well, I mean, you didn't even really finish the question. No, I did. We, we, you, didn't, you didn't. Oh, I didn't answer what it? What would you be doing? I said I'd be doing something that would make me happy, and I had no specificity there. Ah, uh, yes. Which you want a specificity, eh? Eh? <laughs> if you could have it your way, who would you be with? The most authentic, truest version of myself. Can I do a follow-up question on that one? Sure. I don't understand. What does that mean? It means the human who is willing to express himself for true happiness, who doesn't care about what other people think, who is isn't uh, is only living for himself mm. in a way that is not self-serving but is just true. Uh, that's difficult. I know. That's cool. You're much more abstract in your answer than I was. <laughs> Where would you be? Oh, I would be in Paris, France. Paris? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. What would you be doing? I would definitely be just like window shopping, looking at beautiful things. Um, just expressing myself through fashion and performing. Do you like colorful things? I love colorful yeah, things. Yeah, me too. That was a long road trip game. That thank was you for Thank you for being there with us through this very long road trip game. <sighs> what other questions do I have for you? I don't know. Well, do you have any questions for me? No. No? No. No. Hmm. We've hit a lull. Mm. Well, we could play the next road trip game. Okay, Max. So, fudge, marry, kill. Okay? okay. And for whatever reason, fudging is making passionate sweet love, too. Um, plants, science, <laughs> and Japan. Cause, so, here's, here's my problem. Okay, caveat king. <laughs> I, so, like, I really want to accept where I am at Japan right now. Mm. So I think it'd be good to marry Japan. Mm. Okay, great. But I don't want to be there forever. Okay. Okay, so I'll marry Japan. Okay. And I guess I'll fudge plants? Okay. I really like plants. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, so but that leaves me and I have to kill science, but you know, I'm a scientist. Okay, I can kill science. Okay, great. But I really hope my scientist friends don't listen to this. <laughs> <Keep there. laughs> well, but here's the thing, Max, about, like, what I've come to understand about science is that, like, you know, scientists are paid to, to research something, and more often than not, there's a way that the, the person who's paying you to research it wants the scientific study to come out. Okay. Well, first off... That's unethical. Yeah, I know. And that sounds like something that would happen. So no, that still happens, but it's more like a company will pay pay you that way. Like, I'm sure the like cigarette companies, did, tobacco companies do that all the time. Sugar companies have done that. Big companies have done that for sure. But true science is supposed to be unbiased. So you're gonna be going in there with a hypothesis and you're just like, I wanna know this. Mm. Like, this is my question, I wanna know it. And I want to know about this. And of course you have like some preconceived notion, like this is what's going to happen. But then as a scientist, you're supposed to just take the data and you're like, well, I was wrong. And I guess it's probably really humbling to be a scientist too, because you're not always right. Yeah, actually most of the time you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Another question that I ask every single person that I'd love for you to answer is, what does self-love mean to you? This means we're getting to the end of the interview, people. <laughs> I hope you're okay with that. Well, self-love, it means to me that um, just kind of accepting who you are and where you are. Yeah, I know that's kind of vague without very many specifics. But self-love isn't specific. That's why you get the opportunity just to answer it as you would. Oh, man. Yeah, accepting where you are and kind of knowing that that's just how it is. Accepting where you are and knowing that's exactly how it is. I like that. You do? Yeah, Max. Okay. That's awesome. Max, if yeah. people are totally vibing with you and they want to just like connect with you, 
Is there any way that they can connect with you? Are you on any social media platform? I do have a Twitter handle. I'm looking it up. I okay. That's okay. It is Max Fishman 8. Max um, Fishman 8. Send him a message. Send me a message. He may not respond because he doesn't go on there that much. I would much. be so surprised if you sent me a message because no one's ever sent me a message on Twitter. So Max, thank you so much for joining us on the road to self-love. It's been so much fun. Such an impromptu honor to have my one and only brother on the road. And uh, we'll see you next time on the road to self-love. Yes. Bye. Enjoy. Have a good day. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha